Hey guys, it's Tomoki from Tomotaku here, and I know it's been quite some time since you guys have to hear my voice, um, but I've been away, life's been pretty busy, um, with the holidays coming around, I've had a lot to do in terms of getting my house ready for Christmas, getting things cooked and prepared, getting presents and shopping and all kinds of things that I had to do to prepare for the holiday, not to mention I've had way too many days of work recently. I've been working non-stop with no breaks, so I really have not had time to do a video, nor have I really had any motivation to do any videos. Um, and also I was at the convention and stuff, which I thought I was gonna get the vlog footage up sooner, and I didn't. Um, if you guys are wondering about the Anime USA 20, 20, yeah, 2017 vlog, uh, that'll be soon. I am sorry that it's taking so long. My friend is editing, he's working on everything. Uh, he's gonna have that up and things are going to be ready as soon as possible, I promise you. So, I wanted to make sure I give you guys a video and give you guys something to uh, check out. So today, I just want to have an unscripted talk about an anime that completely disappointed me that I just finished watching recently. Osama Game the Animation. So, Osama Game the Animation is an anime that just recently finished. Um, it's one of the uh, fall anime series. And I will say that it's not as good as I thought it was gonna be. Um, it starts off with Nobuaki, a high school kid who comes to this new school. He's extremely antisocial, doesn't wanna talk to anybody while his fr friends, classmates, whatever you wanna call them, are being all friendly like, hey, yeah, we sh we're friends, we're all cool, you know? And he's just like, no, don't talk to me, don't, don't stay away from me, you know, everything. And it's, it's like he just doesn't want to be messed with. Only to realize that, oh, there's this big thing called the King's Game. And one starts getting these text messages that, oh, you have to do this. You have to do that or you'll be punished. Don't get out of the game. You skip out of the game. You're dead. Well, doesn't say you're dead. He's like, oh, you'll be punished. So everyone's like ignoring it. Like, oh, it's whatever. It's whatever. It's just a bunch of bull crap. And... Nobuaki, who had previously played the King's Game once before, was like, people, this is not a game. Well, it's a game, but it's not a game. It's literally life or death situation here. If we don't follow these orders, we could die. And I was like, oh, he's just saying a bunch of crap. He's just talking a bunch of mess. He's, he's not even serious. He's probably just playing with us. And then when shit hits the fan and people start dying, then they start blaming him. Oh, it's your fault. Why didn't you tell us earlier, like at school or something? And he's just like... Uh oh, I tried to talk to you guys, but you guys didn't want to listen now, huh? And it just gets really crazy. A bunch of stuff starts happening. Um, characters start dying one by one, but really not like too many people are dying here and there, like each episode. Instead, the show kind of goes into this weird flashback-like thing for like a chunk of the entire series, where it's literally just Nobuaki, his old school and his old class of how how was the king's game last time and how did everyone die and then it slowly progresses into the other parts of the storyline um and it just it's everywhere it's all over the place with its plot and you think that it would get like really crazy and it does but it's just like for a show that's supposed to involve gore and like death and stuff it's honestly the, the, the animation itself is pretty subpar and like if you would want to go for a gore anime you'd want to watch something like Helsing or something like something that has legit violence that looks good or whatever you know but th this show is definitely not one you want to go for if you're trying to find uh, something violent and gory to watch um, the show itself has way too many plot holes there's way too many unanswered questions and some just a bunch of ass pulls, excuse my language, for that. Like, example being like, here's a spoiler, the, the, the uh, whole King's Game thing is literally like a virus, like a computer virus that seems to affect humans and makes them want to kill themselves. It's the stupidest thing I think I've ever heard in my entire life. Oh, a phone virus kills you. That's so stupid. It makes absolutely no sense. And I sat through the show kind of hoping it would get better or like, oh, maybe they'll start resolving things, but it doesn't even get to that point. In the end, 
everyone dies anyway, so it doesn't really matter. It's almost like they didn't even make progress. They even have a scene at the end where a bunch of people are getting texts and it just continues on. It, it's so stupid. It's like, why make this unbeatable, undefeatable virus death game thing? You that something you just can't stop, you can't control in any sort of way, even though it seems like you've made progress in finding a way to stop it or beat the king and it doesn't happen. It just gets completely out of whack and honestly, I I prefer a future diary or something else over this, something else. Just not this show. Um I sat through it only because I wanted to see what happens at the end. Hoping that maybe someone would survive. Maybe a romance would somehow be formed between certain characters. And while it did, it ended really badly. It's just so stupid. And I didn't drop the show. I didn't give it a bad score or anything like that. Um, because at least it's worth a watch for, I guess, comedic purposes. If the ridiculous looking deaths that honestly aren't as shocking as you think. The first one is like the only shocking one. And then from that point on, you're pretty much not surprised by anything anymore. And you kind of just have, oh, well, that person's gonna die. You just wanna know how. You're just interested in seeing how. But it's not even good enough animation to make you want to. I think one thing that at least brought me back to the anime is that it has a good opening and a good ending. Um, Cold Rain's Feed the Fire is a really good song. And even the ending, which I don't remember the name of it, but it's by, uh, Pyle, who was also, I think she's Chiemi's voice in there, I believe, or another character, and she also sang, I believe, what is the third opening to a World Trigger, so she's a pretty good singer, um, but besides that, there isn't really any substance to Osama Game the Animation, there isn't really anything interesting that I would have to say makes this like an absolutely amazing show, so if you are, were ever thinking of wanting to watch the show, Honestly, go ahead if you want, but I'd suggest against it. There's other things out there that would interest you. I'm not going to stop you from watching it and say, stay away from this show, but it's up to you if you want to watch it or not. I'm going to let leave that to anyone else's judgment because I can only really speak for myself and my own experience of watching the show. Um, that's pretty much it. Um, if I had to give a, a, score, a score to the show, I'd say like 6 out of 10 or something. Um, only because, I mean, it, it would probably get a four if it wasn't for the opening and ending. Like one point each, I guess. But whatever. Um, I'm gonna leave it at that. I'm sorry this video was just me rambling, going on for about eight minutes or so. Just talking a bunch of crap about a show that was not that good. Um, I wanted to just put something really quick together for you guys while my friend is putting the finishing touches on the vlog. And that should be out probably within the next few days. I'm gonna say probably by the 26th, 27th, but I can't guarantee, I can't make any promises. So, um, oh, well, that's pretty much it. Um, I hope you guys all have a safe holiday. Hope you all enjoy your Christmas, and I'll see you guys later. Peace out.